hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix tech in this video i am going to show you this error first i will show you the error go to sign in option now go to windows hello fingerprint now you can see the error we could not find a fingerprint scanner compatible with windows hello i will show you five step how you can resolve this issue easily so stay with us i have categorized this video in two parts for those who are first time doing the this setup hello fingerprint and the second category is the user who have already enabled this service so for those who are going to do the first time it's setup first make sure its service is running so how you can check this go to search menu and then type here services click on services tab you need to run as an administrator here you need to modify this all the services run here now here you need to press w to find windows biometric service you can see windows biometric service make sure it status is running double click on it and choose the startup type from manual to automatic click on this option and if the service status is stop you can start it apply okay and then then restart the service if it is already running and if not then you can click on start button here now we have successfully enabled the service close it now we need to enable the service from registry editor so make sure press window plus r button together and type here gpedit.msc we are running its service first we need to set up the service then we can modify then we can use this option this is for the first time using users first you need to expand administrative templates double click on it now you need to scroll down and expand the windows component double click on it and then expand the option biometric you can see the option double click on it and now you will see five options here click on second option allow the use of biometric make sure it status and the stage is running like this if not configure and disable you need to choose enable service and then hit apply and then ok and go with second third option which is allow users to log on on using biometric make sure its service is also enabled like this hit apply ok and now allow domain user to log on using biometric double click on it and enable this option as well leave this not configured as default so make sure three services are running here you can see the first services allow the use of biometric second services allow users to log on using biometric and third services allow domain users to log on using biometric three services should be enabled here like this now restart your system the changes will affect after the restart and check and do the setup if you are still facing same issue after rebooting your system we have third method for you now third method is for the user who have already enabled the service make sure you are using the latest driver of your biometric so go to device manager simply and expand the option which is biometric services and click on view option and make sure tick on show hidden devices and whatever option you are getting here update the driver and search automatically for the driver make sure you are connecting with the network and close this and now check your issue should be fixed with the using of latest driver so close this option and now check your issue should be fixed if you are still facing same issue now in fourth method if you have updated your system and then you are facing the issue then you can simply uninstall the latest update of window in your system go to control panel and simply you can press window plus r button together and type here 
appwiz.cpl click on ok now this will take you to uninstall or change the program you need to click on view install update this option and make sure the you are choosing install on like this it should be down arrow key like this you can see the update for microsoft with the your update and you need to click on uninstall the latest update which causing the issue click on yes and this might take 15 to 20 minutes you need to wait for that you need to only perform this step if you are facing this issue after windows update so you can simply uninstall the latest update from here and now restart your system and check if your issue is fixed or not and make sure you are using latest window also this option included in this make sure check for update make sure you are using the latest windows and you can also click check for update and view optional update make sure you are using updated windows and if you are still facing same issue we have another fix for you in six method we are going to perform some commands by which your windows corruption files can restore back and can fix this issue for that go to cmd right click on it run as an administrator click on yes then perform here sfc space slash scan now sfc stand for system file checker which scan all the corruption inside your windows file and repair those if corrupted so wait for the process to complete this might take 10 to 15 minutes but you need to perform this command for 100 percent after completing this command you need to restart your system and then i will show you the other command which you can perform here you can simply paste this command you can get this command in my description box this command will restore the image of your windows so wait for the process this as well goes to 100 percent and after completing the 100 percent it might take 10 to 15 minutes as well check your system your issue should be fixed these two commands will repair your windows corruption and the image so hope your issue is fixed now if you are still facing same issue you can comment me i will try to reply you thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech